charity, wisdom, patience, and humility. Each year, the YMCA of the Kanawha Valley attributes the admonition of St. Francis to an individual in the valley whose life personifies the spirit of giving. The YMCA is proud to pay tribute to this year's Spirit of the Valley Award winner, a woman whose immeasurable charity, compassion, and leadership are examples to us all. Mrs. Betty Schoenbaum. You can see the Schoenbaum legacy throughout the valley, but Betty's giving spirit was instilled long before she became a Schoenbaum. Betty Frank was born in Dayton, Ohio, 1917. Her childhood is full of whimsical memories spent at her family's summer cottage by the lake. She fell in love with music and dance when her mother introduced her to the piano, but admits her secret aspiration was to play the harp. She was a dancer from age 3 to 18 and known as Betty Too Tall. She was 5 foot 8, too tall for a dancing career, even though she and her sister once danced on Broadway. It was Betty's grandmother who first inspired her spirit of giving. Her grandmother was a Jewish woman who, no matter how poor she was, would light her candles every Friday night and total the money she had saved in an old tin can. Whatever was in the can, she gave to her favorite charity. Betty has never forgotten her grandmother's sacrificial giving and her example of sadaka or charity, which is one of the three guiding tenets of Judaism. On her first day of college at Ohio State, Betty's life would be changed forever. Her love of music would be pushed aside for her newfound love, Alex Schoenbaum. If ever there was a romantic story, this is it. On her way to a social, she passed a rather good-looking man in the hallway, a football player from West Virginia. He stopped her and asked, Are you Jewish? Betty was astounded by his rudeness and even refused his first offer to dance at the party. But he explained that his mother wanted him to marry a good Jewish girl, and he had just never met one as beautiful as Betty. Despite his first impression, Betty's respect and love for Alex would grow so strong words cannot express. They were married in the spring of 1940 and moved to West Virginia, their adopted home, in 1942. Betty was 17 when she met Alex. 61 years later, she would say goodbye to the greatest love of her life. During those 61 years together, Alex would nurture Betty's giving spirit. She would understand firsthand the joy of giving, a gift she says her husband gave to her in their very first year of marriage. Alex was working in retail, making only $40 a week when he decided to give away four weeks worth of his salary to the United Jewish Appeal. No matter what their income, the Schoenbaums always gave extravagantly and took pleasure in giving. Betty says she and Alex accomplished much in their lives together. Their Shoney's Big Boy franchise, an idea birthed in Charleston that would become a national success, allowed them to give even more to the Valley and expand their giving throughout the state and the country. Betty humbly says that she has only been giving for eight years, that Alex was the giver. But Betty and Alex were a team, a team instrumental in funding the University of Charleston Library, the Benet Jacob Educational Center, the YMCA Gymnasium, the Coonskin Amphitheater and Soccer Field, and much more. They have purchased sports and recreation equipment for more than 200 schools in the Charleston area. And through the Schoenbaum Family Foundation, established in 1988, granted awards to more than 20 charities annually. Their generosity has reached to Alex and Betty's alma mater, Ohio State University, and West Virginia University as well. And their charitable hands have reached across the ocean to build a library in Israel. But the good works closest to Betty's heart are her scholarships and family enrichment centers. She is so passionate about her scholarships 
that she takes the time to meet recipients and participate in major events in their lives, like birthdays and weddings. When I knew I was getting the scholarship the first time, of course, wrote her a thank you note, and my children drew her pictures because they were little, like three and five at that time, and she remembered as soon as she got to meet me and put a face and a name together, and she was like, oh, I've got your children's pictures in my scrapbook, and I mean, it just made me feel so good to know that, you know, she wanted to know who I was and what my goals and aspirations were in life. Betty has had the joy of seeing more than 200 students fulfill their educational dreams because of her generosity. First thing, of course, is thank you very much for the scholarship. Thank you for the opportunity to devote myself to studies. It's just a very uh, uh, worthwhile, in my opinion, a worthwhile scholarship, largely because it is tied to, to bringing teachers to West Virginia, or at least keeping teachers in West Virginia. And that, I think, is a... Uh, is a big plus. Thank you <laughs> above and beyond everything. Thank you because I couldn't have done it without their help. Even the naming of the first Schoenbaum Family Enrichment Center in Sarasota is an example of Betty's humility. Betty wanted the name changed from the Schoenbaum to the Glasser Schoenbaum Human Services Center. I was overwhelmed and deeply touched. She was so generous in what she did that when we had the event on campus in which we celebrated the name change and Betty was thanked for what she had done, Betty stepped forward and said, It took only a minute to write the check, but Kay has spent 18 years of her life to make this happen. I cannot tell you how many people have spoken of Betty, not only in terms of her philanthropic generosity, but generosity of spirit. Betty is a very dear friend who shares my value system, which is based on helping people. She is a treasure, and I am very proud of having my name linked with that of the Schoenbaums. I was fortunate to know Alex and blessed to have Betty in my life. Sincerely, Dr. Kay Glasser. The Sarasota Center was so successful, Alex and Betty wanted to build one in Charleston. Alex passed away before the center was realized, but Betty made certain that his dream would be carried out. The Schoenbaum Family Enrichment Center opened its doors in 2000. Betty is admired for bringing her own philanthropic ideas to the table too. She has received numerous awards, including the National Council of Jewish Women's Woman of Power Award and featured on the cover of West Coast Woman. She has been presented with two honorary degrees, a Doctor of Humanities from the University of Charleston and a Doctor of Business from Ohio State. But above all of this, Betty says her single greatest accomplishment is her family. From the elaborate celebratory events to the small, intimate moments, these are the memories dearest to her. Memories of her and Alex, their four children, and seven grandchildren together. She was 25 when she had her first child and 66 when her last child left home. She says her child rearing career was quite a feat and that she is so proud of all of her children and grandchildren who have already become compassionate givers themselves. Betty says that life has been her greatest education that her life is much like a tapestry with many bright threads woven with the dark. But when she sits down and looks at the flowing canvas, it is a beautiful work. The YMCA and the Kanawha Valley community recognize the beautiful work and life of Mrs. Betty Schoenbaum. While she says how blessed she is, it is quite possible that she will never fully understand how much her life and the life of her beloved Alex have blessed our valley.